Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about what is in my travel makeup bag. Now let me tell you guys what inspired today's video. So I received my VIB Rouge gift for renewing VIB Rouge status and I just received it yesterday. I went to a Sephora event for a VIB Rouge and you guys who follow me on Snapchat saw me there. This is what the brush looks like and it's just a cute little travel brush. I thought that it would be really cute to film a what's in my travel makeup bag. I'm actually not going anywhere and I have traveled since I've had my channel but I'm always in such a hurry and just kind of packing my bag at the last minute. You guys know how that is and I don't really have time to film that whenever I am actually traveling so I thought I would go ahead and pack my bag the way that I normally would pack it and show you guys what would be in my bag if I was traveling. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Before we get started, I do want to show you guys um, my makeup bag. We're going to go through this makeup bag. I pretty much think that I hit the jackpot with this makeup bag. Um, I've only had it for a year and I was really looking for a makeup bag that held more items. I typically was using like bags that I got either with a luggage set or bags that I got free when I purchased other cosmetic items. I would get a free makeup bag and it really just didn't hold everything that I needed it to hold. I've been taking a lot more with me whenever I travel so I wanted a better makeup bag and this makeup bag has so many compartments. It holds so much it is perfect for travel. So I'm going to walk you through everything that I have in this bag. I'm also going to talk to you guys about the bag itself because I'm just so happy with it and it is extremely affordable. I got it on Amazon and I'm going to link that information below if you're interested in checking it out. So if you want to check out my travel makeup bag and find out what I'm taking with me on my imaginary trip, then just continue to watch. So the first thing I have here on the top, and this has been open, um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water Makeup Wipes. So I like to take those with me. Um, the eyeshadow palette that I have packed here in my bag, the eyeshadow palette that I've packed this time is just my Modern Renaissance palette. Um, typically if I'm traveling and I'm just going to be gone for a few days, I'm only going to take one, maybe two eyeshadow palettes, but the bag does hold a full size eyeshadow palette. So the palette I chose this time is the Modern Renaissance palette. I also have in my bag my Guerlain um, Terracotta Bronzer. I can always count on this bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer and the shade is deep enough with this bronzer that I typically won't take my contour palette when I'm traveling. I just take this. This is going to work wonders for me. So this is my, I think it's called Four Seasons. This is the Terracotta Bronzer Four Seasons. It's not the number seven. Okay, I also like to take, I like to take my color switch with me. Um, you guys know what this is. Um, I got this at Sephora and it helps me to keep my makeup brushes clean and when you're traveling, you're not taking very many makeup brushes. So it's nice to have this because you're going to be using the same brushes over and over again. So I like to take this with me. Um, I just recently purchased this. This is my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It also says Prime Plus Correct Plus Set. So I think I have used it sort of the way I do with my um, Studio Fix Prep and Prime. And I'm just traveling with this one because it is small and it does work really, really well. So it is travel friendly, but again, it could be, it could have been any of my setting sprays, but I packed this one because it's really good and it is tiny. Um, also, okay, for foundations. So one of the foundations that I have in my bag is this Dior Skin Forever foundation. You guys know I have been loving this foundation. It just smooths everything on your face. It practically looks like you're wearing nothing. This is a wonderful foundation. It's one of my newest ones. And so I am traveling with this one this summer. So I packed it in my bag today. And this is the shade 045. 
on my imaginary trip I'm also going to take this um, L'Oreal infallible 24-hour foundation this is the 210 and 211 I have found that I really like mixing these two to get my perfect shade I really don't have to I could wear either or but mixing them makes me happy I'm actually wearing it today when I'm traveling I like having a foundation that I know lasts a long time and will wear for a long time because I don't necessarily know what kinds of activities I'm going to be participating in the other thing that I like about this one is it's flat and small so I like the packaging and it's plastic so I love taking things with me that aren't made of glass um, like my Dior skin is made of glass, but this is not made of glass. My Milani Prep and Prime is not made of glass, so it's really travel friendly. So for primer, I'm going to take this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It helps to blur imperfections, but it also gives you a luminous finish without looking too dewy. So that's why I really like it. I actually can tell that my foundation wears really well whenever I use this primer. I think that this is a really great primer for summer and I'm probably going to travel somewhere this summer. So even though we're going on an imaginary trip with this bag today, I will probably travel somewhere this summer and this will be a great primer for me to take with me. So that's in my bag. So I like to take, even though um, this is not necessarily a travel size, this is full size, I like to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder with me. It is my go-to translucent powder. I do have others that I love. I've been loving the RCMA. This one I just know is always going to work with all of my looks and all of my foundations, so I like to take this one. I'm also going to take um, this compact because, again, I don't like being dependent on one <laughs> Thing, like my foundation I like to have two my powder I might take two so um, I like this um, Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish um, powder and it is so thin that why not take it this one is in the shade number three in dark so I will also be taking this with me on my imaginary trip I am taking um, this gilded honey with me I've talked about this one a lot here on my channel this is one of my favorite highlighters it is by Laura Geller and it is travel friendly so why not take this one and it typically just it's going to do the trick no matter what it is a highlighter that's going to work I just know it's going to work for every look that I have so I'm going to take this with me I really hate that I can't show you what the inside of the bag looks like because it's just hard to see there are lots of little um, elastic band straps and compartments for tucking in these bottles it's perfect for holding foundations and primers so this bag was really made for makeup that's what I just love about this bag it's not something that you know they just threw together it was a thoughtful bag so other things Mascaras that I'm loving right now, I like the MAC Hot and Naughty, and I like to use this one for my lower lashes. I can use it for my upper lashes, but I just save it for my lower lashes because this is the only one right now that I like for my lower lashes. So I try to use other mascaras for my upper lashes, and then I'll use this one for my lower lashes. So this is the Colossal Big Shot, and I'll use that for my upper lashes, and then I'll use the um, hot and naughty for my lower lashes those are my mascaras in my bag today um, for blush I have a couple of blushes but um, one is somewhere else in the bag this is Melba by Mac and this is just a very natural blush it's just going to give you a nice rosy cheek it doesn't have a shimmer it's matte it's going to go with most looks and so I really like taking a blush like this one with me so that it will go with just about every look that I'm going to create. I've restocked and put everything back that was in the front of the bag so that it won't continue to try to tip over. <laughs> so this is my little cute blush that I got. Um, this is Peach Sheen and this is a mineral pressed blush by IBY Beauty. I got it in my Beautycon box and since it is travel size, I mean, come on, that's perfectly travel size. I decided to pack this one and I'm wearing that today as well. It's a really deep color, but it has like a shimmer. So I thought it would be nice to travel with this in addition to having my matte um, blush so that I have an option. So that's going in the bag. Okay, also here 
on this side I have some other like tall things um, I have my cork lip liner and that's pretty much the only one that I'm gonna take with me because that's generally the one that I use the most um, I also have this voluminous superstar liner pen if I'm traveling I really only need um, something like this I just don't necessarily need my gel liner I'm not going to go through the trouble of using gel liner and taking all of those tools to create a gel wing when I can just take a liner pen and that's what I would recommend you do as well this is just a brush that I use whenever I'm doing my brows and I'm gonna talk about my other brushes in a moment I'm sure probably because I have so many brushes in there and this one is fairly tall that's why I stuck it in here this is the brush I like to use whenever I'm carving out my brows okay also in here I have lip colors now typically I have a lot of lip colors in my purse so I don't have to pack so many in my travel makeup bag because I carry lip colors all the time I just do so I just have a few in here and I really like nude I just love nude lips I'm wearing one today <laughs> so most of what I have is nude this is just a um, lip balm I just it's just a random lip balm nothing nothing special about it I also have the Mac um, velvet teddy velvet teddy is this really pretty nude color it is a matte lipstick I like to wear it with my cork lip liner and I usually am going to top it with some type of lip gloss most likely by Marc Jacobs I also lip color this is my Spanish pink and look at it guys when you guys see this <laughs> this is Spanish pink I put it on backwards and so it's just looking all some kind of way <laughs> Uh, this is a Tom Ford lipstick. It is one of my all-time favorite lip sticks and lip colors. I love this. Also a nude, but it's a pinky nude, whereas the other one is more of a natural nude. Like, a, it has more of a tan um, color, whereas this one is more pink. For today, I actually put in my, um, this is my Chanel Mademoiselle lip color. You guys know, this was like one of my... I think it might have been my first high-end lip color and I just fell in love with this lipstick if it's not a nude that I'm wearing and I want a little bit of color this is a perfect color and it goes with most of my outfits and so I'm going to take this with me as well I typically am more of a lip gloss or moisturizing lipstick person or matte lip with the lip gloss I like liquid lipsticks but I just don't like to travel with them I love the way they look in pictures I love the way they look on my channel but I don't like to wear them all the time I just don't like wearing them so I'm typically not gonna travel with them because I don't really like them I don't like my lips to feel dry I'm just more of a glossy person but I do like the way they look so I buy them but I don't love to wear them all the time does that make sense um also I have my little brow powder in here just in case I like to use this when I'm in a hurry and so I do like to just take my brow powder why not it's small might as well take it with me and this one is my um, sugar sugar um, I've been liking this one a lot lately but you guys know I love pretty thing and it is in my purse right now so it would be going with me on my imaginary trip as well but I've gone ahead and grabbed sugar sugar to go in here to top on top of all of those lipsticks that I showed you other than my Chanel Chanel I wear by itself but the other lipsticks I would wear something like this on top of it so that's what's on that side of the <laughs> makeup bag and there's a little small pouch here and what I have placed here today is just my little um, Marc Jacobs liner now this liner is I, I can't remember what I paid for but it was expensive it was between 20 and 30 dollars for this little tiny liner so we do not want it to get lost broken or anything else so I have placed it right here in the front so that it doesn't get damaged and then I'm also taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer this one is for it's anti-aging this is my favorite eyeshadow primer period it's really lightweight it's in a tube and it's really travel friendly so love that now let's go ahead and look at some of the brushes here that I've taken now there are three little elastic bands here for your larger brushes so I don't I don't even have travel size brushes here guys I'm using regular size brushes I do own some travel size ones but it's not necessary this bag will hold others 
So I have a powder brush here by It Cosmetics. I've really been loving um, the Morphe powder brush, but it's a little bit bigger. So for travel purposes, I'm going to use this. Um, this is my Mikasa Beauty blush brush. I've been using this one a lot lately. I have a Morphe brush that is very similar, but I've been using this one. I just really love this brush. The bristles are a little bit softer than my Morphe brush, so I'm taking that one to apply my blush. And then this one is a natural hair fiber. This is the Morphe M523 brush. For travel purposes, this is easier for me to travel with to apply my bronzer um, than any of my other brushes. It's a little bit smaller and so I'm going to apply my bronzer using this brush. I have an eyelash curler. Um, I have um, my Sephora Bullseye um, Lash Applicator. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this. This is a little sharpener that I keep in here for my liners. And then I have all of my little brushes here as well as my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil, I believe. Perfect Brow Pencil. This is my Sigma Strobing Fan. You guys know I love using this to apply highlighter. It is my favorite. This is a spoolie slash um, angled liner brush. I'll use that to sculpt my brows. Some of these are a little bit dirty, but because I just used them. This is my Smith Cosmetics 235 blending brush. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but it is a little bit smaller as far as the size of it. So it's great for traveling. Um, I love this brush. This is an M330 blending brush from Morphe. This is the Morphe E36 brush. This is the brush that I like to use to apply my inner tear duct highlight. This is the M518 brush by Morphe and this is a natural fiber brush that I like to use to just apply my transition shade. This is the M166 brush. This is just a flat eyeshadow brush. This is smaller and short so it is more travel friendly and so you need one of those as well. One thing I don't have over here is like a smudger brush. So I probably would usually take that too if I'm planning on smudging or smoking anything out on my waterline. But sometimes I don't do that. So that's kind of a maybe you'll take it, maybe you won't. But these are the type of brushes that I would take with me when I'm traveling. One last compartment here. I don't always take lashes. Like if I'm going home to visit family, I'm not usually going to have on lashes because... It's just a little bit too much for them. <laughs> but depending on where I might go, I might take them with me, just depending on the type of trip. So I've just grabbed a couple that I like right now. These are the Islay lashes. You can get these at Flutter Lashes. These are Islay. And then this is the Jinx Lash. And this is Crown Moetti or Moti. And um, I think there's another one called Woodwinked that I like but I, they may have even changed the style or the name of those lashes um, but these are really good lashes and they are half the price of House of Lashes. Woodwink looks a lot like Iconic Lashes so anyway these are really good lashes and they're like six bucks or something like that six dollars and I can't remember what these were um, they're a little bit more but these are the two lashes I have in my bag and I'm wearing Serene Lashes by House of Lashes I love the Serene and I love that style so those are also some that I might take with me all right, I'm also going to take my House of Lashes adhesive, and I just like to keep it in the box. <laughs> it's a bottle. Um, this is my lash adhesive. It's my favorite, so it is perfect for traveling as far as the size, so I would take that. My favorite concealer used to be, I hate to say used to be, but I have some other concealers that I really like, but here lately, this just stands out all by itself. Tarte Shape Tape is hands down the best concealer that I've ever used. So it's almost taken the place of some of my other favorites. I love this. I love this concealer. So this is the one I'm traveling with in my travel bag for my imaginary trip. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing it today. I also like my Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in Cafe. I like to use this to just um, cover up any of my imperfections that I have. So the Tarte Shape Tape is going to go in my highlighting areas. And then the Maybelline Fit Me is what I will use to conceal dark spots. 
this is my L'Oreal True Match and I'm not this is in the light medium L'Oreal True Match light medium and this is NYX above and beyond in CJ08 nutmeg and I use these two concealers when I carve out my brows okay this is the Morphe M432 brush and I like to use this one to carve out my brows some people use angled brushes but I just prefer this one so forgot to have it in my bag had to just go get it but you gotta have that one and this is my clear yes it is clear but it's kind of gotten a little funky it gets like that when you actually use it but this is clear brow gel this is one by Ulta it doesn't really matter which one you use I like to use a clear brow gel when setting my brows generally I use something different today but generally that's what I'm gonna take I also grabbed this professional um, it's not necessary for the most part because I have the other primer but because this is a nice travel size and I love professional um, this is another option um, when traveling so this is the benefit professional and of course I have to have a beauty blender this one is not clean <laughs> but this is the original beauty blender and I'm generally going to use this to apply my foundation I don't even think I have a foundation brush in here um, because for the foundations that I have I'm going to use this beauty blender but um, if I was using like a stick foundation then I would pack a foundation brush so gonna have this beauty blender with me so thank you guys for joining me for today's video I hope that you have enjoyed it if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you have questions or comments for me make sure that you leave them for me below and if you have not already subscribed to my channel make sure that you click that subscribe button that way you won't miss any of my uploads if you're interested in learning more about the makeup bag that I talked about and showed you guys in this video the link will be in the description box if you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I have featured just leave that for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can can. so again I hope that you all have enjoyed this video because I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I'll be seeing you guys again very soon so until the next time we meet again this is Savvy signing out I really like my makeup today oh you know how it is though I do a pretty good job and it's not a makeup tutorial <laughs>